Hello. In this video, we will explore how to effectively structure your Python projects. A well-organized project is crucial for maintainability, scalability, and collaboration. So let's dive in and learn how to set up your Python projects the right way. A good project structure provides numerous benefits. First, maintainability. A well-structured project is easier to update and debug, saving time and effort in the long run. Second, scalability. It allows your project to grow and evolve without becoming unmanageable. Third, collaboration. Team members can easily navigate and understand the code base, fostering better teamwork. Fourth, reusability. Components can be shared across multiple projects, promoting code efficiency and consistency. On the other hand, poor project structure leads to several challenges. First, spaghetti code. This refers to tangled dependencies that make understanding and modifying the code difficult. Second, circular imports. These occur when modules depend on each other, causing runtime errors and confusion. Third, monolithic files. These are overly large files that contain too much code, making them hard to navigate and maintain. Fourth, inconsistent naming. Confusing naming conventions can make the code base hard to understand and work with. Here is a basic project structure to get you started. At the root level, we have my underscore project folder. Inside this, there is readme.md, which provides a project overview and instructions. Then, setup.py, which configures the installation process. After this, there is requirements.txt, which is a list of the project's dependencies. Inside my underscore package folder, we have double underscore init double underscore dot py, which makes the directory a Python package. We also see module one dot py and module two dot py, which contain the actual Python code. The test folder includes double underscore init double underscore dot py and the test files like test underscore module one dot py and test underscore module the py. The docs folder contains documentation files such as documentation.md. Now let's discuss the key components. Readme.md provides an overview and instructions for the project. Setup.py handles the installation configuration. Requirements.txt lists the project's dependencies. My underscore package contains the main code. Double underscore init double underscore dot py makes the directories into Python packages. The tests folder holds test files that mirror the package structure. Finally, the docs folder contains documentation files. Let's look at how to organize modules effectively. Here's an example of module organization. In the my underscore package double underscore init double underscore dot py file, we import functions from module one and module two and define also they are exported. In the my underscore package slash module one py file, we import helper underscore function from module.py. The main functionality of module one is the main underscore function, which calls the helper underscore function. Lastly, in my underscore package slash module two dot py, we define the helper underscore function. Now let's discuss some module best practices. First, use double underscore init double underscore py to expose the public API. Second, use absolute imports for external dependencies and relative imports for internal ones. Third, each module should have a single responsibility. Fourth, avoid circular imports by carefully designing dependencies. Fifth, use double underscore all double underscore to control what is exported. And finally, keep modules small and focus for better maintainability. When your project grows, consider using an advanced project structure. The root directory complex underscore project folder contains readme.md, setup.py, and pyproject.toml. Inside the requirements folder, we have base.txt, dev.txt, and prod.txt to manage dependencies for different environments. The src folder contains the my underscore package folder, which includes 
double underscore init double underscore dot py, and subfolders like core, API, models, and utils. The tests folder, docs folder, and scripts folder are also included. Now let's consider some recommendations for scaling your project. Use the SRC slash layout for cleaner imports and installation. Separate your requirements for different environments. Group functionalities into core, API, models, and utils. Use the scripts folder for maintenance and deployment tools. And use PYProject.OML for modern project configuration. Keep in mind that the best structure is one that works for your specific project needs and team workflow. Now let's explore some tools and resources that can help with project organization. Cookie Cutter is a project template tool that creates projects from templates, helping maintain a consistent structure across projects. Poetry is a modern dependency management and packaging tool that simplifies project setup and dependency handling. PyTest is a testing framework that encourages good project organization with fixtures and test discovery. For further learning, check out the Python Packaging User Guide, Real Python Tutorials, and the Hitchhiker's Guide to Python. These resources will provide in-depth knowledge and best practices for structuring your Python projects effectively. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.